I see myself as a uh, researcher doing both basic science and clinical work. For years I worked on um, science and worked in the lab and worked on applications of um, diagnostics to see how they were relevant to diseases. Um, I've been involved in setting up um, molecular diagnostics at the section of molecular pathology because my interest was always in looking at translational work. Um, especially when we are in L LMIC, it's important that what we are able to do um, translates to something that is relevant. So whatever I do now is because of the support I've had for many years uh, from my family, um, from my colleagues, my mentors, my teams that I work with, both in the clinical laboratory and the research lab. Fortunately, I'm um, very grateful that I have a supportive family and I have two children who are now 11 and 15. And um, what makes me happy is that they seem to be interested in science. Uh, they give advice to other people on what Corona is and what COVID is and, and they, they tell people what their mother is doing. I was concerned about the hours I was putting in at work over the past year and that I um, wasn't spending enough time at home. Uh, and I asked them, I said, are you feeling neglected? They said, no, you're doing a good job. You have to do what you have to do. So I, I think, um, I think I feel very proud of that. The success is always, you know, gradual. Um, it can't really be measured, but I'm uh, extremely happy that our work has come together in ways that we have been able to collaborate across departments. Uh, so while I'm based at the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine, um, we've worked very well with people, all our colleagues at the Infectious Diseases Department, Department of Medicine, Biological Biomedical Sciences and um, Pediatrics. And that has really given us an opportunity to do um, work expansively and more effectively. Through the COVID-19 pandemic, we have had the opportunity to expand our work in diagnostics and translational work. Uh, we have applied our um, immunology work and we've been able to address issues as to what the disease is like in our population. And we're looking at uh, the important question of protection. Why is it that some people get COVID-19 and develop severe disease and some people do not. So that's one area of work. Then another area that we have developed again with our um, teams, a pathogen sequencing team, is that we've been able to sequence the virus. We're one of the few labs in Pakistan that were able to set up um, sequencing technology and apply them to SARS-CoV-2. And we have some exciting research that's come out of that. Um, and then the combination of the clinical diagnostics work, which is a rapid response to the testing we had, has allowed us to work with the public health surveillance response. So uh, we're able to, um, you know, apply what we um, are doing in the laboratory and provide that information to the government and uh, health authorities so that they can uh, effectively expand their track and trace response. So that is, those are examples of some of the things we've been able to do. I enjoy swimming, I enjoy going to the beach. I uh, used to dive, but now I settle for snorkeling when I can in the season. So um, I've always enjoyed sports. So uh, outdoor activities are always good. Forgiveness, commitment, success, friends, progress, I would say. LKU is a fantastic organization. Um, to start off with, it is very forward looking. Um, it, has a, it does not have a gender bias, which is incredibly important. And um, 
I feel that over the years I have uh, grown with the organization. When I first moved back, um, it was more than 20 years ago uh, from Europe after doing a postdoc. And I, um, I've, I chose AKU because um, it seemed to have uh, the kind of infrastructure and support that one needs to do basic science research. People are supportive and the administration, the colleagues um, have always been open to uh, listening to opportunities for growth. So I think it is a, a un unique environment and the fact that it has, uh, it is placed at an international level where uh, the work that's done here is appreciated is a big bonus and uh, the rigor that there is in uh, making sure that things are done right um, both um, in terms of clinical testing and in terms of the workflows that make it um, robust are very important so that gives us an opportunity to uh, work effectively and to develop collaborations in a confident way.